Uh, hello guys, uh, I'm Jay Jananovic uh, from uh, JB Works and uh, I'm glad to welcome you in uh, another of my um, Adobe Illustrator tutorials. Uh, I haven't done any tutorials in some while. I had some, uh, some work on my college, uh, so yeah, uh, I'm glad that we're, that we're back uh, again. Uh, today uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, design uh, something uh, like this uh, completely in uh, Adobe Illustrator so uh, no external programs right like Photoshop or anything else um, so uh, let's get started uh, for beginning uh, so I am going uh, <clears throat> to be very specific in my explanations here uh, so uh, I'll try to explain every step uh, because uh, I've been uh, receiving some feedback from you guys uh, saying that uh, I do my tutorials too fast. Uh, so I'll try uh, to keep my face down. Uh, so first thing uh, I will do is uh, uh, make a copy. Uh, this is an artboard. Uh, so I'll make uh, a copy of this exact artboard. Uh, so mm, I'll use the artboard tool and uh, by holding uh, Alt and Shift uh, key I'll drag this one to the right and I'll get my artboard. Uh, then I'll hit the M key on my keyboard uh, that will bring me to the uh, rectangle tool and uh, <coughs> I'll draw a rectangle. Uh, I'll make sure that uh, it slightly overlaps here, over the edges here. Uh, so yeah, so the image uh, can fit a uh, hole. Uh, then, what I will do, uh, I will color this rectangle uh, to gray. So, uh, that means I'll give it a uh, black black, uh, fi black fill. Uh, then, uh, if you uh, shift, hold, hold your shift uh, button down and click on this uh, color uh, here, click, you will you can switch between the color modes here. For example, RGB, HSB, CMYK, RGB for web, uh, and uh, the black and white uh, color slider. Uh, so uh, you, you, you should use the RGB uh, because uh, my document here is set in RGB color mode. Uh, I'll explain, if you don't uh, know what this is, uh, that is, uh, I'll explain it maybe in another video if you want. So, uh, once you get to the RGB uh, slider, uh, hold down shift button and drag to the right. And you can see that this black color uh, slightly graduates uh, towards gray. So uh, we will end up with some white uh, gray color. Or you can use the uh, color uh, window. Just pick color here and uh, choose whatever color, color you want, it can be any color, uh, it, it, it should be uh, only uh, light gray. Uh, our, next, our next step is uh, again hit the M2, uh, uh, M key and drag a rectangle uh, just about here uh, and then go to the uh, gradients a toolbar here, see gradient, and uh, I like to start from scratch, so I'll pick here uh, the default uh, black, uh, white black uh, gradient, and then uh, click here on this color and color this white. Uh, then, yeah, we, we need to we need to get this uh, like a, a nice shade here. Uh, uh, white uh, that's that's what we are trying to to get here uh, so uh, click on this uh, this right to creation slider and change its opacity to zero uh, something like this uh, the next step uh, you have a few choices uh, you can uh, you can do this make this uh, gradient uh, a radial and move it to the right here 
or uh, you can uh, do what I've done uh, previously here. Uh, this is the, the, the exact same thing, but uh, here uh, I have used a, a opacity mask. So if I release this, which, uh, this rectangle here, if I click release, you will see that this is a combination of these two objects. Uh, one that is a gradient uh, from uh, from white uh, fading to uh, to zero opacity white, and a circle that had this uh, uh, dark to white generating fill. So if you uh, if you play this behind, select both of these objects and say in the transparency panel here, say make opacity mask. You can get something uh, that looks similar to this. Uh, so uh, when I click here on the this rectangle, uh, again, uh, it has a gradient applied. Uh, so uh, when I hit G, I'll get the uh, gradient slider. I move it to the left, and uh, that's it. The next step uh, is pretty much the same, uh, but uh, I'll use a few tricks uh, for this one, so you have to follow with me. Uh, I'll uh, hit Control U on my keyboard, or uh, from the View panel. I can say uh, smart guides uh, and turn them on. Uh, that uh, what this uh, what this uh, does uh, is uh, enables these guides, these green guides, to to help me uh, snap uh, more accurately uh, to different objects. Uh, I will need this because I want uh, to draw a, another rectangle uh, like this one here. Uh, for the shade, you can see the subtle shade uh, that goes to here. And when I uh, bring bring it closer to this rectangle, it snaps uh, by itself. So I'll dra draw another rectangle. It can be any size, as long as it uh, fills this space up. And uh, I'll make sure it snaps here, like this. And uh, for this one, we will use again the, the default uh, gradient, make it radial, and click here, click here uh, to reverse it. Like this, use uh, the G tool, move it to the right, and uh, with this handle here, uh, just a second. Uh, you, should, you should get something like this, uh, but uh, I'll make sure that uh, this slider is goes to the opacity of zero, and I'll turn down uh, the overall opacity of this rectangle uh, uh, down a bit. Uh, I can do that uh, by going to the transparency panel and say 30%. And that's maybe too much. I'll say 20. Okay. Now it's that side. So uh, now we have uh, something uh, we can play with. And uh, now we come to the uh, second part uh, of this tutorial uh, where we need to make these uh, like uh, little ribbons uh, here. Uh, so uh, let's get started. Uh, again, uh, I will select a black color and make a dark. Um, dark uh, rectangle. I'll color it to black and uh, let me just zoom in a bit on this one. Uh, again, I will uh, uh, turn on uh, the smart guides, uh, which can help me uh, locate the middle uh, of this rectangle uh, because it has this center uh, mark here. So I'll just uh, use the pen tool. Uh, here, use the pen tool and add a point here. So I just clicked once here. So we have another point uh, which uh, we can drag. Uh, I hit the A key on my keyboard, uh, or you can go to the direct selection tool and uh, move uh, this only this handle uh, to the inside. So 
to select on this angle and not, not everything, only this angle and move it to the inside uh, uh, ok, uh, once uh, we have uh, uh, that done uh, I'll add uh, a uh, gradient to this ribbon and I'll make this gradient um, a bit uh, lighter lighter in color uh, something like this and uh, yes, maybe this. Uh, I'll just reverse uh, the direction of it uh, so it goes from dark uh, to white uh, something uh, we did here too uh, then I'll just tap sail okay make this bigger and uh, make the color um, just a bit gray. Okay, something like this. Uh, so uh, then uh, I'll uh, expand this object. Uh, yes, we can expand it. We don't need to change the text anymore. Uh, yes, so then I'll make a group uh, by, by selecting this and saying. Uh, I'm saying uh, in a group. Uh, then uh, uh, I will show you a, a small trick uh, in the uh, with the, the colors. So we can adjust the color balance in the uh, edit edit colors uh, adjust color balance menu. Uh, and uh, if you click convert here, uh, you can play and. Uh, get different uh, results uh, here so if we uh, get uh, the right mixture of colors uh, yes uh, you, you can really uh, play with this uh, as long as you want uh, it's really interesting I'll stick with this one maybe yes this is fine you can make a copy of this and say, uh, say now maybe you want a different color, maybe green. You can do whatever you want, uh, really. Uh, then I'll uh, select this text and uh, I'll add a. Uh, let me see. Uh, I'm in our inner glow. Yeah, but uh, this text uh, should be uh, uh, darker for it, for it to work. Otherwise, it won't won't look uh, very good. Uh, so I'll make this a uh, bit darker like this, and then uh, if I say uh, stylize in a glow, uh, say preview. Four pixels uh, in dimension. Click OK. Uh, then, if I uh, select only the text, uh, say Control C, and then uh, Control V, uh, we have pasted this uh, same text behind. Uh, is selected. Uh, all we need to do is uh, uh, with once with the right arrow and once with the arrow up, move uh, move the text. Uh, with uh, we don't want you know, inner blue or white on this one, uh, we just want it color in, colored in white, so we have this nice uh, little effect. Little effect. Uh, once again, make this it, make sure this is a group. Uh, then, uh, with the direct selection tool here, uh, select only the ribbon, and by holding the Alt key, uh, move uh, this down, and it will make a copy of, of itself. And then uh, uh, add a Gaussian blur to this. Uh, that will be our shadow. Uh, you can follow me, I, I believe. Uh, and then um, we uh, we should.
should uh, use uh, again uh, one trick uh, with the warp tool. Um, by, uh, by clicking preview, you can see the effect uh, it uh, brings. Uh, so I'll just um, go to the uh, rise here and say uh, about 10% maximum um, will be enough. And uh, then uh, we can drag uh, this one. Uh, but now you see uh, that that our shadow is on top of our ribbon. Uh, we don't uh, we don't want that. Uh, what we do want is uh, to make it behind. So I'll select this shadow one. Uh, say Control X and uh, Control B. That will paste it behind. So you can see the effect uh, we have now. Uh, I'll make a group of this, select it and say Control G. I'll move it uh, here to the side. And uh, yeah, we're pretty much done. Uh, one thing you can do is uh, uh, use your pen tool and draw a small uh, triangle here, like this doesn't have to be perfect, uh, color it, uh, I don't know, maybe use this color, but only darker, and uh, yeah, you can see it's overlapping here, we don't want that, so I'll select it, say Control X, and uh, Control B, now it's behind, and uh, yeah, it's a pretty pretty nice effect uh, done uh, only in uh, Adobe Illustrator. A note that you can change uh, all of this uh, pretty easy, I believe. Uh, just let me see. I hope this works. So with the preview button and con convert, you can see uh, how easy it is to, to change uh, the color of this. So you can make a bunch of these uh, uh, var variations uh, pretty easy. I like this brown color, reddish. Yeah. Okay. So, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, uh, my name is uh, JJ Nanovich, and uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, my tutorial. Uh, I will see you soon uh, in another of my tutorials, uh, which will be based uh, either on SolidWorks or Adobe Illustrator, uh, depending. Uh, on the on the interest uh, for the two softwares and so uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time